Okay, here's problem one of the problem set. Uh, a particular circuit includes a one microfarad capacitor and a 10 kilo ohm resistor. At time equals to zero, there's an initial charge on our capacitor of two micro coulomb. Simply ask, what's the charge on the capacitor after a little bit of time? In this case, it's five milliseconds. The first thing you want to do with any circuit problem is you really just want to sketch the circuit. So here you go, we've got a capacitor. We've also got a resistor. And that's all we have. Our capacitor is given, it's one microfarad. Our resistor here is 10,000 ohms, another zero. And there's an initial charge, Q0, on our capacitor. And Q0 is simply two uh, microcoulomb times 10 to the minus six. All right, great. So what's the charge at our time is five milliseconds. That's five times 10 to the minus three seconds. Okay, so we should know, uh, since we know the value of the charge, we know the value of uh, the capacitance, we automatically know the initial voltage on the plates, right? But they're simply asking you for what the charge is. If you remember from basic discharging capacitors, the equation is simple. It's an exponential decaying relationship. So the charge at any time equals to the initial charge multiplied by a exponentially decaying function. Uh, where T is the time, R is the resistance, or the equivalent resistance, and C is the capacitance. In this case, we know everything in this problem. right? We know the time, we know R, we know C, we know Q0. We simply have to substitute it in our equation and just not make a mistake when we substitute in our calculator. So this is two times 10 to the minus six. We have exponential and we wanna know at five milliseconds, so don't forget the negative, five times 10 to the minus three. And now I need to divide by RC. Now the resistance is 10,000 multiplied by, uh, the capacitance is one times 10 to the minus six. Okay, if you substitute everything inside your calculator, uh, what you're gonna find is that the charge at this time is simply uh, 1.21 micro coulomb, 10 to the minus six coulomb. So the correct answer for this problem here is choice D. Okay, pretty straightforward.